The long road to recovery continues for a man shot in the head at a nightclub on New Year's Eve 2017. Sabrina Burr spoke to him and his mother. Sabrina joins us now in the newsroom. Frank Laurie, the sheriff's office, says the shooting happened at the rodeo bar and grill New Year's Eve. Kevin Wilson says since then, his life has never been the same. This is when you first sat, try to sit up. Kevin Wilson says his life changed forever, December 31st, 2017. His mother, Rosemary Gamble, has pictures and videos of him in the hospital after someone shot him in the head. The Bibb County Sheriff's Office says a fight broke out at Rodeo Bar and Grill around 4 a.m. when someone started shooting. When I got here, the doctors told me four times that unplug him because there's nothing they could do. But Gamble says she prayed until her son woke up from a coma. By the grace of God, and I have faith in him, and I still do. My son is able to sit up. He's taking a few steps. But Wilson still struggles to eat, walk, and speak. I just do want to somebody to understand what I have to go with do every day. Since the shooting, Gamble says her son has had to take 13 pills three times a day. These aren't even all of them. With bullet fragments still in his brain, the pills help with pain, seizures, and relax his muscles. He's trying so hard, he just want to get up and go on with his life. And that's all I want, someone to step up and explain to me what happened to my son. Wilson says he was working as a security guard at the nightclub. Police never caught the shooter. Gamble says they've wrapped up more than $20,000 in medical bills. An affidavit from the company that owns the nightclub says Anthony Davis and AA Entertainment LLC didn't have any workers' compensation insurance or premises liability and claim they weren't required to have workers' comp. I'm struggling every day to maintain a life for my son by myself. I Gamble says she uprooted her life in Chicago to take care of her son in Macon, but she says she's grateful because he's come a long way. Back to you. Thank you, Sabrina. Wilson says he was in the hospital for about four months.